Hi, I'm Jim Bridges and I'm the President of the Australian Cartoon Museum here in downtown Melbourne, Docklands, Australia. And today on our little um, museum bite, we're just going to talk about football posters, which became very popular in Melbourne in particular. Um, the first cartoon, the first footy poster, uh, what happened was that as um, soon as the game finished, they sold the winning poster. So Wegg would draw the both teams that were playing, could have been that one, and whoever won, they threw all those posters. They were already, they were already done, they were already uh, printed. They'd throw out the loser and, and they'd sell the winners. And of course, it became a tradition all over Melbourne that people would buy these posters, stick them in their window of their house, put them in their shop fronts, uh, put them in their cars, put them everywhere to represent that they won. And it was the Melbourne Herald, though this roughly a bit bigger than that, a bit bigger than that actual size. And um, uh, all the money that was raised from this went to the children's hospital. And of course, I, this was done, this is the first one he did, that Wegg, Wegg, was, Wegg stands for William Ellis Green, and he was the political cartoonist and also a gag cartoonist for the Herald for many, many years. Um, and he was a great man. He was a, I, I knew him personally and I miss him. He's been gone for about 15 years, but he's a very funny, very funny, great man. So this is the first one he did about 1953, I think. So they become a tradition. And um, there's another one he did. Had this really strong line, as you can see, really so this aggressive, aggressive, we won. Um, and people loved him. It, it sort of, he, he summed up the, he, because all the, all the football clubs have, um, they're the Tigers of Richmond, they're the Bulldogs, uh, Collingwood is, is the, the Magpies, the Blues are just the Blues. Um, yeah, and um, this is my favourite, and that's a caricature of the footballer, uh, Jezelenko, who was playing with them at that time, in 1979. So. He, uh, Wegg was a great caricaturist besides being a good cartoonist and that's the Carlton Football Club and they were premiers that year. Very strong, very powerful. And of course, um, his, he, there's, there's one he did of Essendon in, in 84. That was the team that I used to vote for. The Bombers, the absolute Bombers. And another Wegg is, um, there's, a, there's a Wegg, there's the North Melbourne with the kangaroos, Hawthorne with the, the hawks. Um, and then when he died, it was taken on by Mark Knight. Mark Knight did these posters, um, and they're a different style, but as you can see, they're strong and powerful. And other people like um, like uh, uh, Paul Harvey, he, he continued the tradition on, this is rugby. This is the premiers for rugby. And, um, uh, this is the premiers. That, that's his version of the, the 2013 game, and that's Wegg's version. No, that's 91. Sorry, but you can see the different styles of of um, uh, of, of, the, of the, the the logo um, of uh, of the club. They all have logos, and it's like tribes. Tribes had their own logos. They had, you know, the, the, the tribe of, of the white bear, the tribe of of of, of, um, of, of, uh, of the wolf. And so football clubs have this. It's a very deep, um, primitive uh, tradition that we're always carried through. And now it's in corporates. Corporates try and have their symbols, their their um, their logos that represent everything about them. Well, they're a lot more sophisticated these days and are not as primal as these. Anyway, as I said, they raised, um, well, they uh, uh, up until his death, and he died 15 years ago, they'd raised about $2.3 million for the Children's Hospital. And people are now put their collector's pieces, these are copies, but they're collector's pieces. And because they're printed on newsprint, um, they fall to bits, but they're all individually numbered. And of course, the losers, um, it, uh, they're rarer, so people grab some of them before they're burnt and, you know, tossed out um, by the people who, who printed them. And of course, um, <laughs> uh, 
Um, you can, so some people now do two posters. When Collingwood lost, I know a friend of mine was doing Collingwood posters and he still sold a lot of posters because it had the word Premier on it. And so, you know, people were dreaming that the, the team won that year. Yes, okay, well, uh, Wegg started a great tradition, really powerful, great tradition. And, um, and here we have the continu continuation of his work. Okay, this is Jim Bridges at the Australian Cartoon Museum saying, see you next time. <laughs>